In this video, I'm gonna show you how to redirect attachment URLs in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So before I show you how to redirect attachment pages, perhaps we should talk about what is an attachment page and why do you wanna redirect it? Well, if I go over here to my WordPress dashboard, if we click on the media library, and then pull up any one of the images in your media library. I'm gonna pull up this picture of a red and black sneaker here. If we go to this section down below that says file URL, and I copy that out, and put it in a new window, we can see that this is basically a direct link to the image. But if we look further down the page, there's a little link here where it says view attachment page. If I click on that, this is the attachment page. So this is a page that WordPress automatically creates. It has very little information in it. It's very low SEO value and it's very low value to most of your customers and web browsers. So this basically has the file name and the actual image and then it puts the header and footer to my site on this attachment page. So when we talk about redirecting attachment pages, what we're talking about is instead of having this page show up in search results, you can redirect it to either just the image itself, or you can redirect it to the page where this image actually appears. So if we go back to the WordPress dashboard, I will show you how you can change that setting. So on the all-in-one SEO menu on the left, we're gonna go ahead and click on search appearance. And then on the tabs up top, we're gonna click on image SEO. And it's the very first option that shows up here. It says redirect attachment URLs, I have it disabled on this site. The default would be to have it redirect back to the attachment. And then you can also choose to have it redirect to the attachment parent. So if someone was searching for red and black sneakers, ideally they come to your store, but you have this image that is tagged red and black sneakers. Maybe this image will rank pretty high in the search results. So in that case, we're saying, if you have this disabled, we're saying that we do go to that attachment page, which has very little value. If we have this set to attachment, then this image will come up when people click on that. Or you can set it to attachment parent, which brings up the page that holds this image. So it's this image and it appears on this page here. So this page in this case would be the attachment parent. What we recommend is you leave the default setting and have the attachment URLs redirect to the actual attachment. But we give you all three options so you can choose the behavior you want. After you've made a selection, choose save changes and you're done. So that's how to redirect attachment URLs on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to use Link Assistant to speed up your internal linking workflow. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.